Hey everybody, Joy here. Happy, happy, happy Mother's Day. May 10, 2020. I know this Mother's Day is not going to be like any other. So many of you may be home alone. May I, Thank God there's um, Skype and there's phones and there's other ways besides person to person in the same room to get to be with your mother today. So I pray that you all will hear from your children and they'll tell you how much they love you. I would love it to no end if that could happen to me. <laughs> I keep thinking, okay, not this year either, but maybe next year. There's always next year. There's always next year. And Jerry always, he's just wonderful to me because it's a sad day for me. I mean, you all know the situation where neither one of us, Father's Day is the same way. We never hear from our girls. So, yeah, you can hear my heart, I know. <laughs> but anyway, I'm so blessed in so many ways and God isn't done yet. I'm still alive and Jerry's still alive and there's still time. <laughs> there's still time for miracles to happen. So, hey... The sermon this morning, kind of a tearjerker, mm -hmm. kind of a tearjerker, it's about mothers of course, and um, talking about Moses and Moses' mother, and talking about how here in America they are murdering, murdering 4,000 precious innocent babies every day, surely not on Sunday, every day. Where's the babies? mask? Where's the baby's hand sanitizer? Where's the baby's government to care about them and whether they're going to live or die? It is pure hatred from the pit of hell. It is so godless that an innocent baby can be ripped from a mother's body full term and tortured and killed. It is so sickening. So sickening. And John Hagee talked about how women now don't want to have children because the, the times are so bad now. There's so much going on and there's so much evil and so much corruption and so women don't want to have children. Well think about when Moses was born. What was it like when Moses was born? Pharaoh had ordered that every male baby be drowned. Every male baby. And John said this, and I hadn't thought about it before. Think about it. If an entire generation of little baby boys is killed and the little girls are allowed to live, when the girls grow up and they need husbands, who are they going to marry? They're going to marry the Egyptians. And so an entire race will be wiped out. Yeah, I never thought about it like that before. But it just it just sickens me. And I have had that thought. Why would anybody want to have a baby right now? The way things are, even in America, with so much hatred for children, and hatred for family, and hatred for church and God. And it's just so sick and so heathen. Oh, I, I feel like Africa should send missionaries to America these days. Oh. It's just heartbreaking. And I know I have several, several friends, dear, dear, sweet friends, and I know you have the same situation with your kids as we have with ours. And I know your heart's breaking today, but I want you to know I love you. I love you. And if I was with you right now, I would give you the biggest hug, and I would tell you you're just a wonderful mother. <laughs> but we just have to thank God. God isn't dead. We still have God. And things can still turn around. Things can still turn around. They have in the past, and they can again. So, we must praise God no matter what, and we must be thankful no matter what. And I am. I'm so thankful for you, especially for you. Truly, I am. Great big Mother's Day hug from me to you. So, what have I been doing? Oh, I've worked hour after hour after hour after hour. <laughs> trying to do the Fit Nice tutorial. I'm not trying to, I'm doing it. The problem isn't the tutorial. I mean, I, that's just a natural, I'm doing it anyway. 
I'm always sewing anyway. I mean, the only difference is there's a camera on and lights on. That's the only difference. But then you have a storm, and then the storm messes up your computers, and then your computers don't work, and so then you can't upload your videos, and so then you end up with 28 clips because you weren't able to do it as you made the clips, and then the 28 clips get all mixed up when you put them on the computer finally. Oh my goodness, my goodness. <laughs> Let me show you my notes. You'll see what I'm talking about. See, these are all clips. These are all clips. And so I wrote down what clip said what, and then some of them were in the wrong order. So then I crossed them out and I put them in a different order. And then I made more clips, and then I had to straighten all of those out. Then I made more clips, and more clips, and more clips. And you can see I've crossed them out, circled them, moved them around, put arrows. And then I made, hold on, then I made all these little post-it notes because my cards were getting me all confused. So then I made all of these post-it notes. And so then I numbered the post-it notes. So here's number one clip, and here's number two clip, and here's number three clip. But then I crossed number three out, and I made number four number three, and then I had to make number five number four, number six number five. <laughs> I worked, oh my goodness, at least six hours on that yesterday. So I just want you to know how much I love you and how much time it takes me to make these videos. It doesn't take me time to sew. You know, I sew fast and I can make a garment in a day. And yes, I made this one. This is um, Louise Cutting, Cutting Line Designs. I really like this top. Um, she's made them with zippers and snaps and buttons and everything else. So it crosses over inside and it like ties right here. And then this side goes over there and buttons. So yeah, this is Louise Cutting. So I really like it. So. Pets, no, I didn't make. So Jerry said, what can I do, what can I do, what can I do for Mother's Day? Um, he brought me some flowers yesterday from Walmart and bless his heart. You know, he doesn't know one flower from another one. <laughs> he just, if I went and there was a great big bin of flowers, I would pull up one, look at it, examine it. No, not that one. I'd pick up the next one, look at it. No, not that one. Pick up this one over here and I'd examine 20 of them before I found one I liked. Well, he just picked one up which is perfectly fine. The only problem is, it was almost dead. <laughs> I took it out to put it in the vase and, and it was just falling on the floor like rain. All of these petals falling on the floor and I thought, oh my God, this looks, and it's stuck. <laughs> I finally had to tell him. And I said, baby, <laughs> you've got to look at these and make sure they're fresh. And Jerry can't smell, he can't smell anything, so he wouldn't have noticed that. But anyway, I don't care, he bought them for me. There are roses in there. Um, there's some red roses and some white roses. And then the stuff that was all falling, I had to take the falling off dead part out, of course. But anyway, at least he loves me and he thought of me. And today he said, let me do something else, let me do something else. So we're gonna go back to Olive Garden in Sherman, Texas, cause it's open, we ate there last week. And the, the waiters there all had masks on and they were, the lady was outside and she checked you in and they've got hand sanitizer. And it's very, very nice. So we're going to go there for lunch today, but um, working on the tutorial, I've got video number one done, which is how I cut it out, how I trace it, and how I cut it out, and then how I do all, you've seen me do this so many times, I do all of the fixes, alterations, the round back, the sway back, the shoulder slope, the um, FBA, all of that. So there's a whole video of that, and you can totally skip it if you're like, well, I don't care about that. Just you know, there'll probably be four videos in a playlist. And so the second one is me choosing the fabric, cutting the fabric out, sewing the fabric together. And so if you don't care about that, you'd skip that one too. <laughs> then the third one is going to be me. Um, there might be four because the second one that I just told you about, it's like almost two hours long. And I've already, if you wonder why, well, that was weird, that was weird. Here she's holding her hands here, and now she's holding her hands here. And here she had a ruler, and the next clip she had a cup of coffee. <laughs> That's because they're too long. And I think, I'll cut that out. And, I'll cut, and you know, I talk constantly. And I think, oh, they don't care about that story, chop. Oh, they don't care about that story, chop. And I just chop, 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 chop. <laughs> That's why it's such a mess putting it back together. <laughs> think of it as a cartoon, y'all. <laughs> cartoon tutorial of joy making a fit nice top. Anyway, my top turned out great. 
I don't want to show it to you or it won't be a surprise, but it turned out great. I love it. I'd be wearing it right now, except I didn't want you to see it yet. So, then there'll be maybe two videos of the second part, and then the third one will be changing it into a different style and making the seaside top. Okay? Now, I know I don't have many followers out there that are interested in this. I think there was only like 76 comments, and I've got... I've got almost 17,000 followers. So I don't have a huge group of you that care about the tutorials, evidently. <laughs> if you do, will you comment below? Will you leave me a thumbs up? Because it sure is encouraging when you're sitting there hour after hour doing all this work. It's really encouraging when you get a thumbs up for all your hard work. All right, my dear, sweet, lovely mother friends, friends who are mothers, have a wonderful day. I hope you receive lots of love and lots of encouragement, and I hope you all stay well. And I'm going to let you go because I need to go back to work on the tutorials. <laughs> Bye for now.